News Army, first detection of highly dangerous bacteria in U.S. A potentially lethal bacterium was detected for the first time in U.S. water and soil tests, leading the CDC to inform physicians and public health specialists Wednesday. Burkholderia pseudomalae was found on southern Mississippi's Gulf Coast. A 2019 research indicated that one in 4,600 persons exposed to the bacterium had melioidosis, an uncommon and dangerous condition. 90,000 individuals die yearly from melioidosis, according to the report. The findings indicate that B. pseudomalae has been prevalent in the Mississippi area since at least 2020, when melioidosis was first identified in a resident of the Gulf Coast region. The bacterium has been detected in South and Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, and Central and South America. CDC simulation revealed that Southern Mississippi's climate was also suitable. Two individuals in Mississippi were diagnosed with melioidosis two years apart, in 2020 and 2022. The anonymous people were not linked, according to the CDC, but lived nearby and hadn't recently been abroad. Officials said genomic analysis proved both patients had the same Western Hemisphere strain. Both hospitalized individuals recovered after antibiotics. Last month, the Mississippi State Department of Health and CDC gathered environmental samples from patients' homes, household items, and neighboring regions. Direct touch or cuts and wounds may infect animals and humans. Officials say transmission risk is minimal. Symptoms appear one to three weeks after exposure. The CDC says that most cases of melioidosis happen in places other than the United States. Last year, four individuals in four states got melioidosis from a Walmart aromatherapy spray. Officials said two perished. According to the CDC, the symptoms of melioidosis are ambiguous and might differ from one individual to the next. However, some of the symptoms include a fever, chest discomfort, headaches, and localized pain or swelling. Diabetes, heavy alcohol usage, chronic lung illness, chronic renal disease, and immunosuppression are risk factors. Quick identification and medicines were essential, officials added.